Okay, okay. Oh wait, after sundown. Say eight o'clock or whatever time that is. Yeah. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Ah, we're getting treated to a song, are we? Good. I remember this. I know him! 
Tresim murdered some Tamerian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. If I killed them, they deserved it. There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Garrett, <coughs> he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Bastards, I'm ordered. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. I'll settle it outside. I'll punch this old woman's <laughs> fucking head in. Yeah, you're lucky. Music, music. <laughs> Cultural capital of the world. The fuck it is. I hate the chair that I'm sitting on. To introduce uh, someone Alicia comfortable, Sama, known also as Caladetta, as lovely as she is talented, and this. Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Mm. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Oh, well, there you go. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, <clears throat> like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. Uh. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Bruh. Oh yeah, wait to make it not obvious, you know. Like, <laughs> Is there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault. Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat... Dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I've got to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Mm. Always best to leave that out, you know? You don't want to Let me say this. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. Hmm. I learned only that he <coughs> raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the king of beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. <laughs> Wherever he is, I sincerely <clears throat> doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Relax. Gotta talk to this horse first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Yep. Will do. Well, bugger all you here. I haven't the strength for anything. All right. <clears throat> oh, God. Sorry, I'm gonna keep making that noise. I'm uh, so, my throat's all fucked up. All right, guys. Oh, there's so many people here. Holy fuck, bruh. Oh god, I'm just trying to climb, climbing out of here. Oh my fucking god. Look at that. Like that is so ridiculous. What are fuckers all over the place? All right, we leveled up. That's always very cool.
Talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Excuse me, get the fuck out of my way, bitch. <coughs> How dare you? Yes. Following the wrong fucking guy around. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that body. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met. Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. <laughs> got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Oh, uh, no. I just have ears. No ass cleaver. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Time to fuck shit up. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Oh shit. Ah! Everyone chopping that guy up to bits. <laughs> oh god. Good work, 
work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Explain? <clears throat> I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior is gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, Want to find all, son? Find me first. Maybe I will do that. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh... Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently, old man. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying <laughs> you up. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. We just need to stay out of each other's ways. Agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. 
Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Hey, Gorge. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildor. But you'll have to enter through the pits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Okay. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. <clears throat> Do what you will. Just be cautious. Orson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. <sighs> Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. Okay. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. Bastard. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened <clears throat> to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, mm. establish what happened to him. Okay. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword oh. unless I ask you to. Dijkstra, I'll fucking kill you, man. You're lucky I can't. So kind as to follow me. Where the fuck's the uh what mission is this that I'm doing right now? That's not it. Yeah. Is this a main story mission? Oh it is, okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Oh Bart, not again. Bart. Bart, stop that! 
Now! Ah, mad. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hurts. Bart less thinking. Bart less thinking. Bart sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot dead. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. You'll see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made up with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. <coughs> I'm in. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shrooms. Head. Ah, bad shrooms. I know how that goes. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was <laughs> Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hold. Want see? Boom! Got what? Breathe. Shroom. Sleep, go. Jolfon gone! Bad troll! Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Figure... This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. You've gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. 
Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the wall shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. Mm. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Yep. Dropped fonts and ran like that. That's hell. it. Fuck that guy. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Mm. Damn to my what have you gotten yourself into? Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Grids of currents were the way of witches pushing in one power for blast. Ah. Ooh, look at all this shit. Gimme. Damn, see that going fucking. That pop. Oh, what's this? Hello. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Mmm. What? Who are we? Damn, what's up with this guy? Look at his fucking legs. <laughs> Oh, this must be the guy. The thug Dijkstra hired. You'll be okay, man. Fine. Getting close. here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Hmm. Bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil. Caramel? That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra.
do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? <laughs> bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. The grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. A knife in your knickers, mate? And a fucking giggle, mate? Alright, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. I shall holler. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. <clears throat> Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. By the way, what about happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound, <laughs> but his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Okay. I trust you. Let's see what's on the bottom. <laughs> the has been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer. Schweik. And Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. Nice. The family held a hush-hush <coughs> funeral. Have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him. No, 
He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Everyone treats me like shit and I'm just trying to be so helpful. It's so crazy. People are so mean to me even though I could chop their fucking dicks off at one, <laughs> one swing, you know. It's rude, man. Real fucking rude. I like rain. Keeps the rogues indoors. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Here. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Is there like a fucking so what do we deal with it? Yeah, I can't get through on <laughs> until I put the Oh I don't I didn't take the bottle. Jesus Christ. I love how it's like solve the riddle. Like solve the riddle just pressing a button. Wow. 1245 to 1254. Already saw that. I'm a genius. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Mm. Sugar and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Stain. Wyvern oil. Siri. Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. <clears throat> Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly <laughs> not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No. Just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. 
In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet wars, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. The commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. <clears throat> what I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Sarah. <clears throat> that changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then. And thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep saying it, but it's so true. After dark, what time we talk about? It's so like 8, 8 p.m. I'd say 9. Oh, around midnight. Okay. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mina could use a bit of paint and spackle. I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Oh shit, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
Atreus, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. <clears throat> Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Hmm. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Nah. Not anyone. No. Nah. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Yeah, I'm cursed. Fuck, you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Okay, let's do it. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Oh. Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the elf -o. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore, and you spit it out. Where's Isleheart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right Stop close. pointing in my fucking face.
Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. <coughs> but it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ha! Stop squirming! <laughs> this little piggy went home! Oh, no! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Dobblers can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. See you're an expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all things mm. to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy has roast beef. This little piggy had none! Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No, no more. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee, wee, wee. Ow! Bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? 
I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one hand, working for criminals on the other. I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore. More or less. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do. But not at any price. All right. So free Dandelion. First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I add you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms either. I could simply force you to tell me what you oh, know about cool Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! Yo, never mind. Where the fuck are we? What the fuck was this? I have like super fucking. Oh my god. Oh, you scum. Right. Definitely fair carry now at the stage. Ow, oh, scow. Oh, that is still full fall damage. Alright, got it. Come on, Tristan, got it. Where is this going? We oh. Holy crap. all of them that was close what happened i thought menga took the bait he did until i asked about the treasure Geralt, we talked this over you agreed uh, fine never mind oh we fucked up we should search the office maybe we i'll search his box I... let me go back yeah let me go back let me do it again When did I start to speak to him? Fifteen. Don't tell me, right? Triss could not help Geralt. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an Oniromancer, and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Let's see if there's any way to do this another way. Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion. I didn't even I didn't even Geralt think about it being uh, now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to I didn't think about that affecting the fucking thing. Let's try again. Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. 
Where is that? Where is that from? Fifth, nine, fifty. Oh, Alright, yeah, it's not. It's fucked. We can't. We can't do it. Chris could not help Geralt. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neiromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Whoops. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, there's something sewn in the lining. Ozzy, what is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. What? What? Who are you? What are you? Who are you? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. How do we escape? That is the main gate, and we won't go that way. Oh, yeah, sure, it's right in, in front. I can't see it's the main gate. Wait, what? So, are these the only two ways? Can't jump up here, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, I don't remember how to get out of here. What the fuck? I'm literally just going in a circle. Maybe it's from. Well, I guess it can't really be from upstairs, can it be? I mean, what the fuck? Okay. 
Okay, we got it. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Okay. Come by later when you have a moment? Yeah. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We need to get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here, so... You there! Mr. Rovan wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? <laughs> Burning with the witch hunters. No, your gold's in a Kaviri bank. Here's the key to the vault that holds it. <laughs> well, well. Would have earned yourself a medal if I was in a position to bestow it. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. Mm. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Hey, man. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? I do what I want. None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Hmm. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know? I've far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. I didn't try to fool you, dumbass. You did get fooled. You got rolled. Mutant. Uh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba get <laughs> Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Ugh, gods damn this weather. Okay. That's quick. Let's do it. Do 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 do. 
Just to hide and wait. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. I really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. You'll talk. Just a matter of time. So save us some. Yourself some, too. Stop acting tough. Or what? Or I'll have to hurt you. Permanently. I see you know your way around an interrogation. So do I. You're the bad one. All threats and torture. And the red one's the good one. Full of sympathy and sweet promises. That's where you're wrong. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can, but I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. <laughs> so, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have said so from the start. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The Dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? And... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. Peace. Better than getting game. fucking mortared right here. You'll be fine. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Yeah, that sounds good. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But 
There is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Manga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Otzenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or mm. someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Nice. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. All right. Woo! Wow! Wow! Right, I think this is the last part of this quest when I talk to her, so we'll do that and then uh, still have to go. Do 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 Bruh. Oh god. <gasps> the reapers come for me. Fuck those guys, they're fine. Jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching. Yeah. But I do wish you luck. Does. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Take care now. Wait, we did it. We're not going to Skellige. We're going to... Yeah, right, that's the next thing we have to do anyway, so... Actually, Shoot. well, let me just get outside. Hey ah! Oh, God. The Reapers come for me. 